Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you several ways to deal with fungus gnats. And we're going to really focus on seed starts, transplants. You may have noticed the succulents, the house plants. I'm going to be doing videos on those and I use some of these methods for my house plants. Fungus gnats probably affect 99% of us. When we start seeds indoors, we typically go and buy a bag starting mix. Sometimes you make your own, but you're using peat moss or other products. Fungus gnat eggs are typically in there. So for instance, this is a bag I just opened. It's moist. It doesn't matter who the company is. We have fungus gnat eggs. So when you set up your seed starts and you're starting them indoors, you're giving the fungus gnat eggs 70, 75 degree weather throughout the whole day. They're going to hatch. They're going to infest your plants. Now the best way to deal with them is to start with sterilizing your starting mix. There, as far as I know, there's no starting mixes out there that are sterilized ahead of time. Uh, the fungus gnat eggs can even survive in dry seed starting mix. Um, in fact, the eggs can last a really, really long time. I sell these on my seed shop, but you can get any plastic bag, fill it about halfway with your seed starting mix, and then microwave it. Never microwave dry starting mix. mix it's a fire hazard, and always keep an eye on this if you're going to do that. So what you want to do is put it into a bag, microwave it for about a minute. It's going to vary because microwaves have different strengths and different intensities of, of um, wattage. One minute, take it out fluff it around, another minute, take it out, move it around, put it back in for another minute. So three cycles of about a minute. That will kill off any of the problems in your soil. And it's a great way to really keep your starting mix sterile so that you don't run into the fungus gnat problem. Now, even if you do that, we may decide to take these out one day because it's nice. A, a fungus gnat comes, lands on air, lays an egg, now they're back inside your house or they come in some other way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's some other things you can do. As soon as you notice that little fungus gnat flying around, you can get apple cider vinegar. You want apple cider vinegar. It's sweet smelling. It really attracts them. Just put it into a container. You're going to cut two holes in here, big enough for your finger. One on one side, one on the other side. They will find this. They will smell the cider, the apple cider vinegar. It's going to be coming out of these holes. They're going to crawl in there and then they're going to have a hard time finding their way out. They're going to land in the apple cider vinegar. It's going to kill them. So you're killing off the adults that fly around. So you're getting less eggs laid into your starting mix. Now you might notice on top of here, what is that? This is green sand. Uh, green sand is something people use for organic gardening. It has some nutrient value to it. So it's something that you could put on here and when you transplant it, there'll be a little bit of a benefit to your seed starts. It looks like this. Fungus gnats like moisture. So if you always have moist seed starting mix, they're going to land on the surface of your seed starting mix. They're going to lay eggs. The eggs hatch. The larvae crawl into here. The larvae eat the roots. Your plant leaves yellow. They die. The larvae mature, they come out, they fly around, come back, lay eggs, and the cycle keeps going. You can break the cycle by putting about a quarter inch of green sand on your seed starts. Always do this only if you have a problem. You don't want to do it uh, as a preventive. So you don't want to start your seeds, then cover it with sand. It could interfere with the seeds germinating and stuff like that. And it's just not necessary unless you have a problem. So it's about a quarter inch of sand here. And all I did was took the starting mix, gently pressed it down, gave it some space, and then you just sprinkle the green sand on there and you cover it up. The sand will dry extremely quickly, especially when it's under lights. If you water this, the water will of course reach your plant roots. It'll be okay. And this will dry really within that day. And it's just an environment that the Adult fungus gnats don't like. They're not going to lay eggs on air. You've broken the cycle. Now, you may have great seed starts, 
And then you put them into the bigger containers to grow your transplants bigger. And this is where the problem happens. You can do everything right indoors. And now you're bringing these outside during the day because it's warmer. And then some fungus nets come, they land on here, or other insects come, they land on here. They lay eggs on the soil, and then you have a problem. You can do the same thing. You'd press down the starting mix, and then you just put in about a quarter inch barrier of the green sand or regular sand. Now, because you're using these containers that have holes in the bottom, you could take a piece of foil and just wrap it around like this and then seal the bottom. And what that does is your water is still gonna drain out of here, so it's not gonna be a problem, but it just prevents any insects from coming in through these other holes. And within a week, that should break out, should break the life cycle of the fungus gnats. Now, green sand can be expensive, or you maybe you uh, can't find it. Play sand's a little bit easier, but maybe you don't wanna go and do this to everything. You can use hydrogen peroxide. You can make a soil drench, so to speak. It's one part hydrogen peroxide. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide to four parts water. And you basically would mix it in, you know, whatever container you want. Just make sure it's a one to four ratio. So you could go ahead, get a milk jug, put in one cup of hydrogen peroxide, put in four cups of water, and then you would just come in and you only have to do this one time. Water from the top, I usually recommend watering from the bottom, but this time you want the hydrogen peroxide and water to come in on top of your starting mix or your transplant. And then you wanna give it enough so that it soaks down and it comes out the bottom. You will hear the bubbling action of the H2O2. You can rinse with this so it's not poisonous to you or your plants. It will kill off the larva and the eggs, and that will hopefully clear up the fungus gnat problem. So you can use vinegar to capture and kill the flying adults. You can sterilize your seed starting mix before you get started in bags. You could also use an oven if you don't want to use bags that don't have a microwave. You could put it out on a cookie sheet and maybe for 15 minutes you want to heat it through to like 200 degrees. But always keep an eye on it because there's a risk of fire. That's on you. Sand barrier, hydrogen peroxide, these are all ways to stop an infestation of fungus gnats. You don't have to do all of them, but I would definitely start with sterilizing your mix and then keeping an eye on the fungus gnats. And if you see one, you know, maybe go to this, try and control it down. If they don't seem to be going away, you could do a barrier, you could do the hydrogen peroxide mix, and that should take care of your problem. I will be doing videos on growing succulents and houseplants, if that's something that interests you. In fact, I'm gonna work on that right after this video. But I really wanted to address the fungus gnats because it really does affect most of us. And even if you have the most sterile environment indoors, you do everything right, soon as you bring your plants outside to enjoy the sun and then you bring them back in because maybe a frost is coming or it's getting too cold, you could introduce fungus gnats and other problems to your garden or to, well, to your seed starts indoors. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com and hopefully this gives you a place where you can find four or five ways to really deal with fungus gnats. Thanks for watching.